This is WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97, serving North Alabama and North Mississippi. We appreciate you joining us this evening right here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Boy, we got you a treat tonight. We have got Brother Marvin Marr and Vernell Marr live with us tonight, and they're going to be here for the next two hours singing some great music. And I'll tell you what, we appreciate our studio audience that's uh, made an effort to be here tonight. We're going to be encouraging your telephone calls. 356-2021 down in North Alabama and down in North Mississippi. Your number there is going to be 454-9797. Y'all call us and let us know if you're enjoying the program tonight. Right now I'm going to ask our studio audience to put their hands together and make him welcome. He's starting off the program tonight. Here is Brother Marvin Marr. Thank you, Jack. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. All. So good to be here. Did you talk to God today? You talk to your bank, your lawyer and such. Talk to your doctor, but you didn't learn much. Talk to everyone you met on. Thank you, audience. What a what a blessing it is to be here tonight. I, speaking on behalf of Vernell and myself, we're just tickled to death to be here. We've both been kindly under the weather, but praise God, we're both a little better tonight. And so we're here just to lift up that old rugged cross once again. Tell you that God loves you, that Jesus died for you on the old rugged cross that you and I might have eternal life. We're thankful for our audience here tonight. We've got our faithful here, and they are faithful, and we appreciate them so very much for coming out to be be with us tonight. And we hope that you enjoy everything we do. And I pray that we can do something that will be a blessing to you. We're we're kind of starting off with a few of the songs that uh, we did a few few uh, years ago. Some things that we maybe not don't do all the time. Here's a little song that 
uh, that talks about an old dog and a man and how he, he said that old dog just reminded him of Jesus because of the way he acted. Most days you would see him on the street of our town and always right beside him an old scarred crippled hound not a pretty sight to look at and most folks they would frown and wonder why he even day I walked up to him and said, Sir, I'd like to know why you take that old hound dog everywhere you go. When he told me his story, it wasn't hard to see, and here are Ladies and gentlemen, Brother Marvin Marr live here with us tonight. And uh, tell you what, the studio audience is growing. That's uh, right. I, I saw some Pinkard guy fit rolling see, in see here. Some more ro rolling Franklin in. Franklin County yeah. rolling in here. So if you're out there joining us on a broadcast and you're local, we'd love to have you come by Charge our studios. Charge double. And join us right here on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're also streaming tonight on our live stream app. And, of course, uh, we appreciate all of our great folks that watch us each and every week. Going to say hello to Miss Linda Davis, checking over in Burnsville tonight. And, Brother Marvin, I don't know where you know this lady or not, but I know our studio audience folks out there will, and several folks in the area. Uh, Miss Betty Starnes, well, her name was Betty Bolton Starnes. She was a <coughs> real family lady, and uh, she loved her family, and she used to come back right here and make sure that they had these family reunion get-togethers back. And I met her uh, a few years ago, and a matter of fact, she was a songwriter, did some singing herself. And a matter of fact, we had her live here in the studio more than once. And uh, Miss Betty passed away this week, and I want us to remember the Starnes family. She lived out in Duncanville, Texas. She lost her husband a couple of years ago or so, and, and uh, she had moved a little bit from there, I think, maybe to be closer to the kiddos. But uh, 
we uh, want to send our condolences out to yes. the Starnes family tonight. She was a wonderful lady, and I know a lot of folks around here that were related to Miss Betty uh, knows what I'm talking about. Gene and Brenda were great, were great friends of uh, Miss Betty. So I know uh, Jean uh, was letting me know that she had passed away, uh, I believe, yesterday morning and stuff, but I knew she had been very sick, so let's remember that family. Uh, did you know how to get here tonight, uh, Mr. Pinker? Or did you get lost? I mean, we, we was wanting you here about 10 minutes early. We was going to dedicate him a song as soon as we come on, right, Brother Marvin? I think so. And uh, they said he got lost. But he says, I just went by, went too far. So too far. that's not getting lost, though, no. right? No, that's not getting Not lost. getting lost. No. Hey, you sounding good tonight. I know you yeah. said y'all been under the weather. We so have. We want to sell sure over to Gene Thorne out there tonight. And also... Miss Eupel Thorne's son, Kathy's uh, brother, Jerry, has been very serious down in Birmingham Hospital on us to uh, lift that family up tonight, right. Jerry Thorne right. family. So, And uh, I know we've lost some other loved ones around people have in the community. And, uh, uh, you know, we don't uh, like to think about the bad things, but we need to lift these families up that are hurting this evening, well, too. Uh, yeah, and Jack, uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll take those names of people that's calling in that, and toward the end of the program tonight, we'll... Uh, We'll have prayer. That sounds great. We sure will. Do me a favor now. I'm going to give you the telephone number. Then I'm going to turn it back to Brother Marvin and let him sing a few songs. 356-2021 down in Red Bay and North Alabama, 454-9797. If you're over in North Mississippi, do me a favor. Get on that phone right now. And if you got a song you like, let, let us, us know. know. And we'll make sure Brother Marvin gets it on for you tonight. Have We're going to be on for two hours tonight. We'll do our best to get it on. and uh, we, we appreciate you that have tuned us in. We Hope you get a blessing from something we do. I am the man. I am the man that you bled and died for. I am the man. I'm the man in the garden that brought the soldier band. I'm the man called Tried to wash his hands. I'm one of the mob lord that shouted in the street. I'm one of the soldier that nailed you to the tree. I am the man. Lord. I am the man that you bled. When you knocked on his door, I'm the man you found drinking down at the corner bar. I'm the man who went to church but wouldn't give up sin. The man who loudly proclaimed, I'm good as other men. I'm the thief that cried unto you, Lord, remember me. I am the blind man that you gave his sight. I am the dead man you brought back to life. so much did you ever get tired of just the way things was going sometimes I did about 40 uh, two years ago I got tired of the way that that things was going in my life and I 
I come to realize that there's only one thing that would change that, and that was Jesus Christ. I wrote this little song a few years ago, uh, reflecting back on some of those days. Marvin, we just heard from Miss Joyce Jones over in Iuka, and she's been having some health issues, and she's uh, praying for a good report. I think, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but if it's a one, that means she won't have to do any more treatment. So she said, I'm praying for a one tonight, and uh, she wants us to put her on the prayer list tonight right. when we have her prayer in a little bit. Yeah. So Miss Joyce Jones, guess what her favorite song is? What's that? Jake the Jesus Man. Jake the Jesus so Man. I told her we'd put her name right by that song tonight. We'll so. have to do. We'll have to do that song for her. Right Want to say hello to Hollis and Louise Holland out there tonight, and also Bobby and Joyce Riley over in Iuka tonight, and also big shout out down in Belmont tonight to Miss Margie Farr. So y'all keep calling three five six two zero two one or four five four nine seven nine seven. And once again, we want to dedicate the whole program to old Gene Thorne out there tonight. Right. Amen. We'll do this next song for Gene. It's still the greatest story. 
what a what a savior that would go and die for a sinner such as I. We we're so thankful uh, tonight. We're going to do a couple more songs here before we uh, uh, get Miss Burnell up. But uh, I want to do uh, uh, what is your favorite song, Leon? It's Jake the Jesus Man. Well, I better just do that for uh, the lady that called in down there. I get so many requests for this song. Miss uh, Joyce Jones. Miss Joyce Jones. I'm going to do it for Miss Joyce Jones. I'm going to do it for my buddy Leon Pinker. He's uh, such, a, such a blessing to me. Has been down through the years and been such a help to me. Uh, so the least I can do is just uh, uh, do him a song and hope that I don't forget none of the words. I stood out by the gravel road, a kid just ten years old, waiting for the old man I knew would come along. He would stop under the old tree where I played in the sand, sit down and talk about Jesus. Old Jake, the Jesus man. Everybody made fun of him. No one wanted him around. He lived in a shack. And his clothes were hand me down. His wife left him years ago. She did. How Jesus changed a drunkard to Jake, the Jesus man. Oh, Jake had the kind of eyes I'd never seen before. Why they lit up like the stars when he talked about the Lord. His voice was soft and tender when he told salvation's plan how Jesus died for sinners old Jake the Jesus man well I grew up became a man hearing old Jake say that Jesus died on Calvary to wash our sins away. I gave my heart to Jesus one day there in the sand. Died on the road to heaven with Jake the Jesus man. To me old Jake special and I'll never forget the day my mama called to tell me old Jake had passed away they found him by the gravel road that old Bible in his hand and a smile upon his weathered face old Jake Jesus man Now old Jake lives in a mansion And he walks the streets of gold No one makes fun of him For he has the finest clothes Someday Jesus man He said son I'll wait for you there Oh Jake the Jesus man
Almighty, thank you. Jack, how about coming out here and helping me sing a song? You Can you cut loose there for a minute? Uh, well, it depends on what song it is. Are you... What? You, you're I, saying that... I thought it, you could sing them all. Well, it's too early in the show for the ratings to go down. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what no, song is you this? You ain't going to run nobody off. We won't. Time to Wake Up. Time to Wake one Up. One of your favorite Do songs. Do I know that one? Yeah, you know it. I'm going to come out there and watch you, okay? All right, you come out here. Arnell, you get ready. When Jack gets out here, We're going. I'm going to let him introduce you. Oh, Lazarus, oh, Lazarus, oh, Lazarus, it's time to wake up. When Jesus heard about Lazarus, job jack and let me let me tell you He's can i tell you me. can i tell you something you can. can i blow you up just you a, little a little bit well you know uh uh ralph stanley he recorded that song on his last album the last thing ralph ever recorded was that song right there yeah. not maybe the last song but on his last, last album the last thing that he put out was that song right there that's that. pretty and, awesome isn't it? and and uh and uh i had another on that i don't care what it was <laughs> But you know what? You sounded as good as Ralph. He's not here to defend himself. I know that, but <laughs> you sounded. See? You sounded. Yeah, you, you sounded great. Did Walter give me a hand clap out there? Say yeah, that? Walter was may, getting beside I have, himself. I, I may have you a surprise later tonight. What's that? Well, I may sing okay. you a song. I okay. All righty. We need we need all the help we can get tonight. Walter said he might sing. I don't know. We'll find. Well, out. I want you to do. I want you to do. Uh, I want you to do me a favor, and mean? introduce this next this next lady that's coming up here. Would you do that? I will do it. Uh, I thought you probably would, and I'm gonna let her start off with the uh, the first song that she ever wrote. 
Me and hers wrote several songs together, but this was her the first one. And you know what? I had to help her just a little bit on that. But I was trying to get in good with her then when I was helping her write that song. I sure was, Jack. Did I, she let you put her name on as one of the writers? Oh, yeah. Oh, she yeah. did? That's what he was looking for. No, I didn't. No, I did not. Didn't? On that okay. song, I didn't know. Well, folks, no. you've been listening to Brother Marvin Morris sing by himself, and he's got a better half now that comes down every time. And guess what? She is live in the house. I'm squealing a little bit, but I'll fix that. All right. It's because I'm up here, I guess. Yeah. It's squealing. It is. But uh, this young lady right here does a wonderful job not only singing but playing, and they travel around the country uh, uh, lifting up the good Lord in song. And, of course, Brother Marvin preaches some, and they sing some, and and I know that they would love to come where you're at. And if you have not right. get anything booked for 2017, and if you're looking for somebody that would do an awesome job, invite Brother Marvin and Vernell Moore. I promise you they do your one job. Thank you, Jack. And a good one on top we of that. appreciate that. Y'all booking up pretty quick. Oh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we're so booking you, already in 2018. Oh, my we're goodness. We're taking books in, booking in 2018. Well, I am too. Yeah. I'm booking in 2018. Oh, are you? Too, right. Yeah. I will tell you. No, that. I'm serious. We are. Uh, you know, we're we're booking already in 2018. Well, I'm serious. We too. have to keep two years of, of books in our That's our calendars in our books. So you don't really think I'm booking for 2000? Yeah, I think you, you are. I'm sure you me are. I know you are. Me and another couple, you know, that sing with us sometimes, yeah. is we're booking together in 2018. Okay, well, that's great. Walter knows who they are. I won't give out information out of that. Uh, I know who they are. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. That's great. That's, that's great. Double, I was just double checking. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce right now our very special guest here this evening. Uh, she's special because Brother Marvin says she's special. And uh, he she actually was so special that he brought her... Uh, here just a little early and bought her some chicken tonight. That's right, yeah. And if, I tell you what, if your husband will buy you some chicken and help you eat it, and help you eat it on top of that, <laughs> you're even better. Y'all do me a favor, put your hands together and make her welcome right now. We're talking about the world famous Vernell Mara. <laughs>
hard. Glory. Burnell, that's great. You did, you did a great job. Yesterday, you couldn't even talk. Couldn't even talk. What have you found? Come on, Jack. Miss Vernell's on TV right there. Oh, my. Look at her. I see her. She's singing on TV. Y'all want to hear her at home? It, it looks like she's on WRMG. <laughs> sure does. What do you think about that? That's pretty good, Jack. I wish I, I could pull that. I think like that was the Grand Ole Opry. It was Grand Ole Opry. That was filmed at the Grand Ole Opry there. I don't know. I can tell you in just a minute. <laughs> hey, there you are. Hey, here's Brother Marvin Marr. <laughs> Listen to you bragging on. Yesterday you couldn't even talk. Couldn't even talk. But I couldn't yesterday. Uh-oh. What have you found? Come on, Jack. Oh, <laughs> I, wait a minute. <laughs> There's Jack right in the hey, middle. Hey, I'm getting out of here. I just saw myself on there. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I just I just posted this on my Facebook and, oh, yeah. and linked you so they can watch tell them they can watch us anywhere in the watch world. Watch it anywhere in the world on a on a cell phone or on the computer, anywhere. You sure right. can. That, and that's the great thing today. Technology has Exploded. come so far and it uh, <coughs> it's it's kinda complicated for folks as old as I am, but uh, uh but it's a great tool that we have to reach the world with the gospel of Jesus okay. Christ. Let's uh, go do a duet for Miss uh, Mrs. Pinkard. She's had a birthday Monday. She did? What are we going to do for 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 Miss Ann? Well, she said any good song. That well, I know a good song to sing for her. She had a birthday? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. I got it down low where I thought she would sing. I can't get in there. It's too low. All right, what are we going to do for her? Uh, Tell me. Help me, Lord. No, let's let's do. Let's let's, let's do that little line there. Mm. It's a little faster. Jesus gave me the light. I'm gonna 
let it shine. Jesus gave me the light. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that. That's your birthday present. <laughs> hey, Brother Marvin. Yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Miss Karen Allen, she's been a long-term viewer for TV 12 and TV 97, and uh, she is uh, enjoying the program tonight. I know she always tells me when I talk to her, she calls in on the program how much of a blessing she gets out of these programs. And uh, Miss Karen, it's an honor to have you call in tonight, and I know Brother Marvin and Vernell uh, like she calling in too. That's kind of Amen. a little encouragement to us too. It lifts us up too uh, to hear from you folks out there. So uh, you folks continue to call in. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, thanks uh, once again to Miss Karen Allen. And also, I want to say hello to Miss Christine Howard uh, down in Belmont tonight, and also Miss Sarah Hammett uh, down on Citizen Street in Belmont as well. So we need more calls. Get on that phone and call us up right now, and uh, we surely would appreciate you calling once Amen. again. Uh, here's Brother Marvin and Miss Vernell Mora. Thank you, Jack. And and uh, we just I want to mention tonight, Jack, that we appreciate you having us down here on uh, uh, the third Wednesday of every month. We come in here and and I hope we're a blessing to somebody. I know there's people yeah. that shut in. I know there's people in nursing homes and folks that's not able to get out. And we're thankful for these that that's out here to, to tonight. We we've, we've got some uh, some folks that's getting on in years that. God is blessed with a lot of years, and we appreciate them. Because they get out and come over here, and we appreciate that so, yes. so very much. And all of you that's Amen. listening tonight, every one of you that's called in, we want you to know we appreciate you and love you uh, for everything, that every, every drop of encouragement you send our way. And every time we get a call, it's an encouragement uh, for us to keep on doing what we do uh, for the Lord. I, I want to do a song tonight that... that uh, uh, would touch every one of us tonight. Uh, saved, unsaved, it don't make no difference, friend. If you got out of the bed this morning and you've got a reasonable portion of health, uh, if, or if you don't have any health at all, you still got something to praise God about. And I'll tell you what, he's still the healer. He's still the one that sustains us. As Paul said, it's through him that we live and move and have our being. And uh, I'll tell you what, I want to praise him tonight. I want to yeah. thank him. So 
him for so much, so much to praise him for when you see. Has been so good to me. And when I think, I think of what he's done and where he brought me from, I've got so much, so much to thank him for. For so much, so much to praise him for when you see he has been so good to me. When I think, I think of what he's done and where, and where he brought me from, I've got so much, so much to thank him for. Could you do teach me, Lord? I'll try. Do you think you could do that tonight? I think I could. Um, this is another song that Vernell wrote that uh, she gave to a a friend of ours that's that's passed on now, Brother Mike Devore. He's been here on this station several times, and Brother Mike done a great job on this song. But Vernell, she she sings a little female version of it, and you listen to the words of it tonight. If there's anything that we need is to be taught from the Word of God. And the best thing, uh, the best way we can be taught from the Word of God is to listen to God. Amen. When we read the Word and listen to what He says Amen. to us. And she just said simply, teach me, Lord, how to live. Teach me how to be that that you have me to be. <laughs> Ashamed to even show my face But I want to live and do your perfect will Teach me, Lord, to reach the throne of grace Teach me, Lord, to live a
special prayer, one that reaches straight to you. Teach me, Lord, to pray that special prayer, one that reaches straight to you. That's a little easier to sing, wasn't it? it? Was. Down there a little. I thought it might glory. be, might be for you. Yeah. Uh, let's catch that glory train. And get out of here. <laughs> that glory train is leaving. Can't you hear the whistle blow? It won't be very long now till the saints will get on board. That glory train is leaving. The engine running long. Sinner, you better get ready if you want to go. Train's leaving. Train's leaving. Train's leaving. You better get on board. In the back of the bus, you don't have to take yourself, make yourself a look. It may be in the morning, maybe not noon. Don't know when it's leaving, just know it could be soon. Train to leave, train to leave. You're gonna need a ticket. They're free to me and you. Listen to me closely. I'll tell you what to do. Just get on your knees and call on Jesus' name. He'll give you a ticket for that glory train. Train to leave him. Train to leave him. Train to leave him. You better get on board. My goodness, what a great job. Appreciate you being with us tonight. Of course, we've got Brother Marvin and Vernell Mar live with us tonight. And if you're out there joining us on a broadcast, I want to say a special hello tonight to Miss Shirley Stacy, Also, Nikki McCray and all the folks over in Burnsville checking us out tonight. And also want to check out to Miss May Baggett. She's down in Red Bay, Alabama tonight, along with Miss Betty Wyman. And also want to say hello to Miss Christine Graham. And also... Uh, also, who else we got there? We got um, Herschel and his wife out there listening to us tonight as well. So we appreciate them all watching us on TV 12 and TV 97. We may have picked up some new folks on the Internet listening and watching. You can uh, send us a message, by the way. Call us at 662-454-9797, 662-454-9797. Or if you're over in, Mrs. Uh, over in Alabama, I should say, your number there is 256-356-2021. Y'all get on the phone and call us up right now. I've made my selection for the song I'm going to sing tonight. Okay. I can't tell you what's going to be the name of it, and I'll have to get Denisa back in here because I'm going to have to play it in here, but uh, I'm hoping that CD will play because I want to surprise you with this one tonight. Okay. That'd be great. That would be great, Jack. 
So you let me know whenever you're ready when, for whenever the, you want whether, to. whatever the debut you want. Uh, the when, whenever you want to, we got another hour. Oh, we do. Uh, after this song. Only on the Pinkard Man out there. After this song. After this song. Then you're coming right back up. Yeah, when you get through. Okay. I mean, what if I do five? Well, that'll be fine. We could stay on all night. You know, yeah. I mean, there's there's no... Uh, no rush. No rush. That's right. All right, we'll send it back to y'all, and I'll surprise you here in a minute. I'm just, I haven't played this CD in a long time. Matter of fact, I didn't sing it in a long time, so I'm just hoping the CD plays. If it don't, if it don't, we'll try something else later. We'll do something else, won't we? That's right. That's Wouldn't good. be the first time a machine or a CD messed up, right? Right, that's right. Does that ever happen to you? Oh, my <laughs> What do you do? Put another one in. Try it. Go just take off on the guitar. That's we right. Just, we just take off take with something else. Sing something. All right. I'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Jack. And we want to tell those folks that's joined us by the way of the Internet tonight how much we appreciate you joining us. That's such a blessing to have you with us uh, tonight right, right here at WRMG TV. We're glad to be here and glad you're with us. And we want to just thank all the local folks, the folks up in Iuka and and Belmont and Golden all around here and folks even up in the edge of Tennessee I'd say up in the close to the Adamsville area back up in there they they pick this station up sometimes and if you if you tonight you can pick us up on the on the world wide web just easily as everything Jack will have to tell you exactly how you do it uh, as far as the uh, the uh, email or whatever Call it takes to get on there just it's WRMG TV, WRMG Radio. Tell them, Jack. Tell them how to get on there. WRMG Radio dot com. WRMG Radio. Right. That's what com. I was going to say. Yeah, you said it. You said it exactly <laughs> right. WRMG Radio dot com. Radio dot com. That's right. That's what I've got in my in at the house. All righty, here we go. Miss Burnell's going to sing. Lord, I can make it. Life is a battle and a struggle every day Filled with temptations all along the way People try to tell me there's no way to make it through But I'll call on your name, Lord, and give it all to you Lord, I can make it With your help I know I can Though Satan is raging Upon your word I'll stand When evil waters cover me Let me see the good Lord, I can make it For you said that I could The Midianites, the odds stacked against them when looking through man's eyes. But God had a different plan for the battle that He fought. When they broke the pictures, the victory God brought. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in this world. My feet shot with the gospel, the victory flag unfurled. Satan can't defeat me, he can only bring me down. The battle is not over, just the first round. Lord, I can make it With your help I know I can No Satan is raging Upon your word I'll stand When evil waters cover me Let me see the good Lord, I can make it For you said that
you gonna are you going to introduce this next no oh, I, don't, I don't believe i'm good at it you better go ahead you you don't think you can say and here's jack, jack. you couldn't do that no i don't think so <laughs> well here's jack she could try it right <laughs> i um I know Walter and Miss Lee's heard me sing this song before, but it, I promise you, it's, you think I'm telling you a story. Else, some people say, "Well, it's been a long time since I sang that song." I'm thinking, "Well, you sang that last week up here." Yeah, yeah. And uh, hey, Denise, do me a favor on the audio board. Turn number three down just a little bit. I'm squealing on the big big board. Turn three down just a little bit there, so I won't be squealing. Check one, two, just a little. That's good. Hey, what would I do without Denise? Same thing I'd do with that, Vernell. We'd be in trouble, wouldn't we? That's right. Absolutely. I'm going to try this song, okay? Okay. I wished you would. I, I wanted you to, Jack. And I wasn't kidding you. You did a great job while ago. I, I, well, I'm, I'm not trying to pull nothing on you. I just, I I thought just appreciate you might have been the help. Well, I appreciate you. You're better help than Dennis is. Don't nobody tell him that, but we don't you're, want you're we better help. I'm ready to try it. Uh, oh, Lord. He's going to tell it. Now here she <laughs> uh, I'm going to move over this way a little bit and get in the center of the picture so she won't have to right, be moving move anything. No, you're right. All right, Denise, let's try this one right here.
Thank you very much. I'm going to do that for Miss Dorothy Rollins out there. She just called in, and she likes to hear me sing. Okay. And uh, Miss Dorothy, we'll do that for you. All right, Miss Vernell, you said you was coming right back up. She's uh, she's she going to take uh, take out just a minute. Oh, she is? She's going to take out just a second there, Jax. She sure is. She said, would you do just one more uh, and let her let her drink, uh, drink that coffee right there? And I, I need, I'm going to get one here uh, uh, if I can find it right quick. Uh, yeah, right here. I want to do a little bluegrass. There's a lot of folks out there that love bluegrass music, and I, I want to just just get that clamp back up there and do a little bluegrass tune right here. <laughs> Caught you, didn't it? Uh, all righty. Okay, we got uh, we got another request or two to do in here, but we're going to get Miss Burnell back up here and and get her uh, humming again. I'm not sure exactly what she wants to do, but we'll find out real soon. I am sure. Let me uh, do. I know the name. She's kind of picking her songs tonight because picking she her she's singing low songs because her voice is. Like I said, she couldn't even talk yesterday. It's a miracle. <laughs> that I'm uh, here tonight. God has performed another miracle. <laughs> Amen. That's right. I know the man. Boy, this is a good song. You can get your coat off.
want to thank all of you for tuning in tonight we appreciate everybody uh being tuned into uh, the station and and i know that uh, Mr. uh brother jack and, and his wife denisa really appreciate everybody that uh supports this station and everybody that has anything to do with it i, I know that they really and truly appreciate it and we want to welcome you if you've not tuned in tonight we we welcome all of you that are uh tuning in late and we just thank you for viewing the program tonight, Marvin, what do you got lined up? I'm I'm, I'm going to sing uh, Miss Lee's song if I can find it here. Okay. I know it's on here somewhere, uh, and I, I'll find it here in just a sec. Uh, I think I will. I meant to at least. <laughs> uh, I'm, I've changed some stuff around, and I know you've been I, I working. I hope on I hadn't uh, uh, left it off for one of these programs. Uh, uh, if I have, I'm, I'm in trouble. I know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, she won't let you buy with that. Uh, with Miss Lee, but I'll I will find it here, and I hadn't got it yet though. Well, glory to God. I, I, ain't that the truth? What in the world am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do? Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right there it is. I'll try it right there. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find it for you, Miss Lee. This is her favorite song. Uh, I called her. Uh, I called her today and told her we was going to be here, and it just just tickled her to death. And I'm glad she's here. It tickled me to death when she got here tonight. Well, I'm be found all the friends she ever had are not around they are scattered like the leaves upon the ground Lord let my eyes see every need of every man make me stop and always lend a helping hand
birds and flowers for you cannot be found. All the friends she ever had are not around. They are scattered like the leaves upon the ground. They are scattered like the leaves upon the ground. Welcome. You know, we got to do that for Miss Gregory down at Chishaminko tonight. That's one of her favorite songs, if maybe it could be her favorite song. So, uh, Miss Gregory, we appreciate you checking in with us down there. And I also hey, want to say hello to Miss uh, uh, Miss Dorothy down in Iuka, Miss House down there. Thank you so much for being a part of the broadcast tonight. Lots of folks watching, uh, of course, down. And we want to say hello to Miss Paige. She's down in Chishamingo tonight. And uh, if you have not called in, right now would be a good time. A big special hello. She's doing a lot better. Y'all wave at Miss Barbara Eastwood out there. Miss Barbara's been under the weather, but uh, she is doing much better. Her and Miss Klein East are out there watching tonight. Miss Klein East led better. So now we'll tell you this. Miss Barbara's, mm, she was better, but after that football game for the national championship, she had a relapse. <laughs> Oh, really? She was a big Alabama fan. Well, oh, I had one, too. Bernal did, too. She had a relapse. And uh, we've had, uh, not them, but we've had folks on the suicide watch around here. We, oh. we had to kind of watch them, a couple, Jack, of, couple of friends of mine. You have to watch this guy. He's not watched a football game in many, many, many years, but I talked him into watching that game with me. And Mark, his son, could not believe it. <laughs> you did watch it? He did. did watch it. Did you like it? Oh, he loved it. I loved it. Who was you pulling for? The other team. <laughs> oh, because he, was, he knew I was from Alabama. He was pulling on. Oh, my. Oh, he, man. he don't do me right. Pink, who was you pulling for last night? Pinker, who was you pulling for? I know your wife was pulling for Alabama. Was she pulling for Alabama, too? <laughs> what did he say? He was just there. He was just there. So Jack, you got, I, I wasn't pulling. I just, I just, en I just enjoyed watching it. Just sad. sitting down and. You know, because I, I haven't, I, I've, I haven't watched many ball games. I started uh, to take a black ribbon over at Miss Barber's. Oh, really? <laughs> they put one well, out at Jack's where she normally sits out there. <laughs> just put a black ribbon there. I again. know there's, I know there's people that 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 it really, you know, that Tore it really up. bothered. Oh, yeah. my grandson was one of them, and I said to him, I said, Isaac, what do you think? He said, Well. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the right attitude, right? That's right. He had the right so, attitude. So uh, you're not going to win them all. Sounding That's mighty right. good. We appreciate you folks checking in out there tonight, not only on the Internet, but uh, on TV 12 and TV 97. And uh, we appreciate our special, special guest here with us tonight. And uh, y'all keep calling. We're going to send it back for some more great sounds Jack, from Brother let Marvin. Me, let me just mention Ms. this while we're on the ball game. Yes, sir. I did appreciate anybody that watched the, the after-game programs you know and the interviews right. of what the Clemson coach uh, had to say you know about the Lord and and how that they give God all the glory that's awesome uh, that was bringing them through uh, their season and through through that game and uh, he's he he is worthy of our praise Amen. and our glory and we w we want to never uh, forget that a ball game is a ball game it's uh, a game. But God is is God, Amen. and this this game of life, uh, uh, there is a way to be successful and come out a winner, and it, it with it, and that is through the blood of Jesus Christ, and that and that alone. Amen. Just got a call from Miss Annette Johnson watching overnight. You can Miss Annette, and we appreciate y'all for watching us all the time. Overnight, you can tonight. Barney and Shirley Dick, overnight, you can tonight. I want to dedicate the whole program to them. We get and a lot of calls from our youth. Oh, yeah. Well, Bobby yeah. and uh, Bobby and George Bobby Riley, and George they, Riley watch us all they, the time. they watch us. Yeah. yeah well, we appreciate uh, I'll, I'll say hello to Brandon Grissom and his family over there. We got folks that don't call in that every time I see them from NIU, oh, we're watching your program all the time. You call in. Well, I hadn't been calling in. But, Jack, you know, you'd but be they're there. That's the main thing. You'd be surprised. Uh, just about every Walmart store, uh, we can't hardly go anywhere. Uh, restaurant or anything without people coming up to telling us that that they see us on television and That's you know awesome. what a blessing that is to know that it's going out oh yeah and know that folks are watching and it's not it's not about nothing but that just to know that somebody may have got a blessing <coughs> out of something we've said or no done. doubt That's hey right. we've got about 30 more minutes 
We sure have, and we just gonna we just gonna get in here enjoy. and just uh, enjoy it. That we gonna have good. a good time. We we're both like I said, we're both a little under the weather, but I we're studio. making a joyful noise. Oh yeah, unto I want the our Lord. studio audience to give y'all a big round of applause. That if might they lift would, them up. I, that would help us, yeah. boy. If they'd loosen big. up. <laughs> no, they've been they're a great audience. They have been all night tonight. Here's a little pick me up song that I like. Just all satisfied But I'm laying up my treasures In heaven above I found peace Money just can't buy I don't need a mansion on a hilltop Just a home in glory land's gonna suit me fine Need a fancy car to drive there Just to set up wings to soar the eastern sky Folks, happy out there tonight, Brother right. Marvin and Vernell. Good. Hey, we got uh, Miss Helen McKinney checking in with us, and uh, she wanted to hear that I'm no longer an orphan. All right, we can. So we could. You think we can make her happy tonight? I, we'll do our best to. We sure will. They'll search far and near to come up with a song. And, uh, <laughs> you enjoying this program tonight, Pink? You enjoying the program? Okay, I was just checking. Uh, We're glad to have. Uh, of course, uh, Miss Lee Palmer live with us tonight, and of course, Walter and Lori Epps out there with us, and of course, the, the world famous Pinkard man, his wife from over in Franklin County. Do y'all live and still live in Franklin County? Hateable. You're in what county? Winston. Winston. Now, he used to try to tell me he was in Franklin County. I don't know why in the world he'd tell me that. I guess he's worried about people finding him. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, he know you know you know he knows Denise's brother down there. He may be wanted. I can find out from Steve if uh, the pink is wanted down that way. Okay. So we'll find out. We'll dedicate the program to everybody here in our studio. We appreciate it. We love them very much. And uh, uh, old Gene called back in to let us know he's watching. And uh, I want to say a big shout out once again tonight to Kathy Ivy 
and also Miss Upal Thorne. And I told you about their uh, Kathy's brother and Miss Upal son in very serious condition down in Birmingham, Alabama. So let's remember uh, Jerry in a special way tonight. We're going to send it right back. I know they're getting another one. I, they're planning it right now. All right. Brother Marvin. Thank you. We're going to do a song for Miss Lou Reed tonight. Did I get it right? I well, bless my heart. <laughs> song too that's miss lou reed's song she liked that don't forget the orphan song now we're not going so to. i won't get in trouble we're uh we're going to do that uh let's see uh right uh right now if i can find it uh i, I done forgot where i put it right there is where i put it that's what we're gonna do all right we ready let Let's her go. go. Miss Ella McKinney. i 
You all right? You gonna be able to make her own through? I yes, believe you sir. are tonight. I got, I got it now. I'm did, did I ever tell you that was the first song I ever sung with you? No. It sure was. That was the first song that I ever sang with you, right there. Well, you do great. Well, I don't do. I don't. I don't. I don't need to be blowed up. Or well, you kind of pull me out of <laughs> kinks because some of those high notes are really hard. I know. I know. But it is. That is the first song that I ever sung with you. Uh, let's do a little. Uh, little bluegrass tune right here. Okay. Vernell, here's a song that's got a little story behind it. I've told it several times. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told it here on the TV station, but I, uh, several years ago, it's been five, six years ago now, I was uh, booked at a little church down close to Hamilton uh, out on Highway 22, out 20, 25, out on 25 over there. And uh, on my way down that day, I'd scribble down a, a little bit of this song, I'd, uh, the, the chorus of it kindly and everything. and uh, So I, I just left it go with that. But I got on down there to, uh, to, uh, uh, to the singing and, and did the singing that night. And so I asked them how that was a quicker way for me to get out of there because I was afraid I'd get lost the way I went in. I turned and nobody had telling how many turned. So they told me to go right up to Hamilton and go down right there to hit 43. When I got to 43, that's the longest red light I've ever seen in my life. And I just I finished writing this song sitting there at that red light. And, and uh, it don't have a thing in the world to do with going back to Hamilton. But it just simply said, I won't be coming back. <laughs>
You know what, uh, Jack, you're going to have to either get a mat and put it up here or buy me some foam sole shoes, one. Because they say I'm just a beating the floor out. And Burnell's a stepping on my toe and kicking me on the leg. And Just buy him some knee boots because I'm going to break his leg if he don't quit. <laughs> is, he, is he moving around with them songs? He's hammering the floor, I and it sounds like somebody it. hammering in that monitor. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't hear it in here now. Well, he's popping in here. Well, he's I, just uh, keeping. You sit out there, and it's popping like he's beating a drum. Back he's here. keeping time. For what hey, it Jack, is. after we do about one more song, would you bring us the the, the prayer list out? Or, I will. Or just call it off again from in I there? Will. Would you? Hey, Mr. Pinkert over here had a question for you about that first duet album there. Pink, I asked him the question, then he can relay it on to the folks at home. All right, tell me. Yeah, Leon said when he first time he heard it, uh, he said, uh, you know, said if, if Vernell had somebody to help her, that that would have been a really good album. <laughs> it hurt my feelings. Hey, Denise, I'll put her on the list. I still uh, ain't got over it. I'm going to have to have some of that 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 uh, therapy, you know. That the government's <laughs> giving out. <laughs> that they're giving out. Hey, Denise's niece, uh, she's only 30 years old, had a baby about a month ago. And about a week ago, um, blood pressure was kind of crazy. And she's uh, not in, uh, she was in the hospital in Birmingham. And Brother Marvin, she had a brain bleed, only 30 years of age. And um, and her blood pressure, she's in Jasper right now. They're doing some tests on her, but she was at UAB. And I think her blood pressure today was like, what was it, 200 and what? 225 over 140-something. Oh, my Lord. My goodness. And uh, so they're trying to figure out what's going on, and they <coughs> thought it had something to do with the baby. Sometimes those things happen. and uh, But, you know, we were worried about you know her having a stroke or anything like yes. that. But she did have a brain bleed, and... And they did some mm -hmm. tests down there, and then she, they sent her home from UAB, but uh, blood pressure's back up. So they're, um, sometimes it's scary. They'll send you home, I think, too quick yeah. and without having enough answers and stuff. So we'll put her name on the prayer list, and uh, her name is Heather Loveless. Heather Loveless. So uh, we'll, we'll put her on the list. We'll bring that out there in just a second or call them out for you. All righty. Okay. We'll, after we do this song right here. Oh. You're coming back.
we have got those lists. Uh, one of them being tonight, Heather Loveless. Uh, Miss Joyce Jones over in Iuka tonight. Also the Betty Starnes family. Also Jerry and Beverly Thorne. And also want to lift up Miss Barbara Eastwood tonight. And also Yupel Thorne and Kathy Ivey. Yeah. And uh, also remember old Gino out there. Gino, of course, lost uh, Miss Brenda, you know, this year. And, uh, you know, anytime you lose a loved one, um, makes it kind of difficult. Sure and does. Uh, so we, we love old Gene out there tonight, and he's watching us tonight. So if you're out there tonight and we didn't call your name out, we didn't know about it, but... Uh, but the Lord knows. I guarantee it. And if you'll call in now, uh, uh, we'll, we got Brother Marshall Green coming in here in a little That's bit. Right. And, and I know Brother Marshall uh, would uh, uh, definitely want to pray for you. We'll all pray for you, I promise right. you that. So uh, those are the names that we have to, to put on the list out there tonight. So if you've got uh, someone you want to put on the prayer list or you want us to add you, uh, three five six four four five eight in Red Bay two five six three five six four four five eight, and if you're over in North Mississippi six six two four five four nine seven nine seven six six two four five four nine seven nine seven. Okay, Brother Jack Marvin's asked me to pray for him, so I'm going to go ahead and do that at this time. If you bow your heads with me, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we bow before you tonight, we thank you and praise you, Lord God, that you hear us when we pray. Father, your word says that by your stripes we're healed, and tonight we're asking healing for all these people that have called in. Lord, we're asking that your hand of love and mercy would reach down, that you would saturate the hearts, the mind, the body of these that have called us. Father, that your healing virtue would flow through them. Lord, we ask you in Jesus' name to minister to each one of these needs as only you can. Lord, you know these people, Father. Your word says for us to ask and you shall receive. And so they're asking tonight that we stand in the gap for them. And, Lord, tonight we're lifting them up before your throne room. And we pray, God, that you would meet every need in these lives, that you would bless them abundantly, that you would lift them from the bed of affliction, that you would touch, that you would minister as only you can. And we'll give you all the praise, the glory, and the honor in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Since I met Jesus, baby. Thank you, Miss Furnell. Appreciate you. You're welcome. Folks, I'm sorry. I've, I've had the hiccups all day today, but I got them stopped for the, what, an hour and 45 minutes there? Yes, and it's they come, come back. They come back, and there's not much you can do when you when you got the hiccups trying to so, sing. So, so you pr pray for me tonight that, that, that these God things will get believed and go stay away. gone. <laughs> I feel good, my 
sins are washed away. Since Jesus came along, I sing a brand new song, never knew. Sing a brand new song, never knew I could feel this way. Oh. Once again, right. Brother Marvin and Miss Vernie Omar, they've been live with us tonight, and it's about time to call it a night. Uh, but I tell you what, we've had a great time here tonight. Amen. Lots and lots of phone calls, and yes. of course, Amen. glad to have Brother Marshall here. Want us to remember Brother Marshall and Miss uh, Colleen in your prayers as they. Continue the ministry, and uh, of course, you know, y'all known Brother Marshall a long time. You know, he works hard for the good Lord, no doubt about Amen. it. So, right. thank you, studio audience, for being here tonight. What y'all gonna ease out of here with tonight? I'm gonna ease out one that, that Burnell can sing the lead on, and I can just hiccup a little bit every once in a while. <laughs> what key are you hiccuping in? B. Oh, okay. Jesus in the air, coming after you and me, joy's ours to share. What rejoicing there will be when the saints shall rise, heading for the jubilee yonder in the sky. Oh, what singing, oh, what shouting on that happy morning when we all shall rise.